The basic ideas of sociobiology go back all the way to Darwin's theory of evolution back to the late 1700s and early 1800s when a lot of the thinking about society was based on a genetic component. Uh, in particular with Herbert Spencer and his ideas about how behaviors that are beneficial to society would be genetically passed down from generation to generation. Now sociobiology in its formal state has not been around for a long period of time, but sociobiologists today apply Darwin's ideas of natural selection to how they study social behavior. And so what they assume is that particular forms of behaviors become genetically linked to humans if they contribute to the survival of those humans or the fitness of those humans for that particular society, group, or culture. Sociobiologists don't seek to describe individual behavior, however. They focus on how human nature is affected by the genetic composition of an entire group of people who share certain characteristics. So in general, sociobiologists will stress the genetic heritage that we all share as human beings. They'd have very little interest in speculating about differences between racial groups or differences between nationalities. Some researchers assert, though, that sociobiologists are really only deflecting uh, the study of more serious topics and influences on human behavior, in particular how the social environment influences human behavior. On the other hand, there are some who argue that sociobiology is uh, valuable to social scientists as a challenge so that they can help to better formulate their ideas within the body of their research. Most social scientists would agree that there is a small biological basis for social behavior, but there's less support for the extreme positions that are taken by certain sociobiologists. Most sociologists would agree or believe that people's behavior defines social reality rather than the genetic structure of people. I think we have to be careful when we speak about sociobiology to remember that it is a theory and it only applies to biological principles explaining the behavior of animals, including human beings. We have to be also careful to bear in mind that theories are perspectives or paradigms. They're ways of viewing the world. And so while sociobiology is a theory, which some sociologists might use to explain behaviors and attitudes and beliefs in society, most sociologists tend not to place a lot of emphasis on the link between genetic components and behaviors in contemporary society. Okay, I hope this helped to shed a little bit of light on the field of sociobiology. We'll talk again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.